Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about FMS Logo, also sometimes called or previously called MSW Logo. Uh, first and foremost, it is a great way for students to learn programming. I've got an entire set of lessons that are posted on my sites.google.com site. Uh, there will also be a link in the description of this video that you can use to learn all about the programming and then also do cool explorations so no matter how talented your students are there's something cool to be learning as you're trying to get to this awesome level of a project but what I'm gonna show you today is how to add it to your computer and how to add some amazing cool programs that other people created so that you can explore those as well so let's check it out the first step is to Google FMS logo, and when you do that, it'll take you to the Source Forge site. I'm going to go to this site, and then I'm going to choose the download button right here. On this page, simply download the current version and install it to your computer. When you're done with that, the cool part I'm going to share right now is the supplemental programs. We need to download this, and let's make our lives a little easier by actually saving this right to the folder where we need it. When it starts the download, as long as you have it set to ask, we're gonna to choose to put it in the program files x86 FMS logo folder. Simply save it, use the cool little button to click show in folder, and then in that folder, right click and you can extract all, or I like to use 7-zip. Now that we've got it extracted we need to go into extras and then asteroid miner and we need to repair the shortcuts when you right click it choose properties under properties it is currently looking for the plain program files folder but we're using what's called x86 so all we need to do is select from the a back and put a tilde which is shift and then right beside the one on your keyboard and then we need to put a 2. That makes it so it can now see where FMS logo is installed. Then in the next box, we need to put where it starts so that way the cool sounds work. The easiest way to do that is using the Explorer. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to copy the address as text. And then when I go to the window, I can click the start in and right click and it paste that address inside there. When you click OK, it'll now let the game launch. All right, friends, so once you've got your shortcut built, you can double click and test it. If it does not work, then you just accidentally missed one of those commands. You can watch the instructions, but otherwise you can watch me and I will teach you. Uh, when you hit play, it is driven by the J, K, and L, where K moves it forward, and the J and the L turn your ship. Now, whenever you're working with a ship in space, once you give it some propulsion, it goes in that direction until it stops. So I'm making it go in this direction, and then I'm going to turn around, make it go back. I was trying to get that bonus that you can see up in the corner, but I was too slow. If you look up here in the right, it shows you that you've got three other ships when this one's done. And do a nice little spin and try and catch this one over here. Notice you pop through the other side and you can run into the uh, big space rocks just like that. So let's go up and get this one because it's easy. Ooh, and then I miss it. Now let's turn and get this one, making sure that we're careful about where we're going. Ooh, that was close. And wrap it up. Still too slow to get a bonus, but I did not lose a life. The little game can be quite addictive. I'm not going to show you me playing forever. I'm going to actually just run it into the wall. So you can see that when it's done, it does actually collect a high score. You can compete against yourself and just see what kind of high score you can set. Or better yet, you can try and break the record of the creator, Dan Gerhardt's of 33,595. I don't think I'm ever gonna beat it, but if I did, I'd be able to type my name in a little high score box and you would have proof that you did actually. 
I hit that record. I am Mr. H. If my kids are ever playing at this computer, they will be able to see my scores. And then if you want, they can take another shot and try and whoop it. So I hope you found this cool asteroid mining game useful. Uh, thank you, Dan Gerhards, for making it. And I hope this sparks interest in you guys also creating your own cool logo creations. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you found this useful, make sure you click that like button. If you have any questions or comments, add them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit notifications if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Have a great day.